There's a fish. Snook on the fly to start the day. There we go. Got the skunk out of the way for the day. All right, fishaholics. Welcome back to another episode. Check that out. Just got our first fish of the day on the fly rod. And uh, today I'm gonna primarily be doing some fly fishing, spin fishing, uh, surf fishing in uh, this spot that I uh, actually kayak to. And uh, yeah, I've been here for only about five minutes and already caught our first fish. And huge shout out to uh, Blue Olive Fly Fishing, uh, who uh, a while back actually uh, sent me out a bunch of flies. And uh, that was the first one that I threw on today. And uh, took a couple casts and got this uh, decent uh, little fun size uh, snook. And hopefully as the day progresses, we'll uh, find some bigger ones. So let's get her back. All right, so I just retied because uh, that first little snook uh, freight up my 30 pound floor leader pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna throw a little dab of this Dr. Juice on this fly. And uh, I did that right before I made my first few casts and caught that first fish. And I've never done it before, but figured, you know, I'd try it out. And uh, if you want to get a free bottle of this Dr. Juice, just uh, click the link in the description and all you have to do is have to pay for the shipping and uh, Salt Strong will send you out a uh, free bottle. All right, let's see if there's any other fish out by these rocks here. And uh, I'll probably give uh, the fly like another like 30, 45 minutes to an hour and uh, see if we can catch some more. If uh, not, then I'll probably grab uh, the spinning rod and uh, try with that uh, i'll probably start with artificials with the spinning rod but i also have my cast net in case i need to catch some bait uh, you know because that might be more productive and uh, i'll be really happy if by the end of the day we can pull out uh, maybe a 30 plus inch snook there's another fish It's a real tiny one. Oh, he uh, released himself right there. There's another fish. They are stacked right here. These uh, little snook. It'd be really epic if we could find one like 30 inches to eat the fly. My biggest on the fly is only like 26 inches. Pretty sweet, we got three like right away. And uh, we kind of got to this spot uh, around like slack high. And I'm noticing the tide is uh, just starting to move out now. So we're gonna have uh, basically the entire outgoing tide to fish here. And uh, because it's a full moon, uh, it's really gonna rip and it's gonna get extremely low. So then I'm probably gonna fish a couple hours of the incoming. So then we'll have uh, good current flow to take us back to the launch. And uh, I'll probably give it like 20 more minutes right here in front of these rocks and if we can't get anything larger than 20 inches i'm gonna grab the spinning rod and i'll probably bring the fly rod with me and uh, i'm gonna move down a little bit uh, closer to the ocean and uh, see what else we can find this 
So to start, I'm gonna try now casting around uh, this little Yozuri suspending jerk bait. Oh, I see a ton of snook right here. Oh, some really nice size too. Most of them really tiny. Oh, got a whack right next to the rocks. There's a fish. A ah, little baby. Oh, cool, quick release. I like that. Oh, another one. Oh, this is a ladyfish though. Oh, and he released himself too. Another snook right there. <laughs> a little bit bigger one. Ate it right at the rocks and he popped free too. All right, well, evidently uh, there's quite a few fish here, but most of them seem to be pretty small. There's a little guy. The challenging part is gonna be uh, not catching fish, but getting the larger ones to eat what we're throwing. It's extremely stacked right here at the end of the rocks. Like I'm, I'm probably counting like 20 snook sitting here right now. There he is right there, right at the rocks. A little bit bigger one. All right, sweet, we're kind of getting somewhere. good one right there you see him monster look at him cruise right along the rocks there oh that's got to be all of like 35 plus inches all right well a little update for you guys it's uh probably been about like 30 minutes since uh you saw me catch that last and biggest snook uh so far uh for the day and uh, we tried the Yozuri for a little bit longer and uh, caught a couple more really, really small snook. Uh, and then I switched to the fly because there are a lot of fish here and I thought we could maybe just hook uh, you know, a couple more just to have fun with, but uh, they've gone lockjaw. They do not want to eat a fly. They don't want to eat any artificial. So uh, being that uh, I also did see some really big snook up front, like probably some pushing like 40 inches. Uh, I think what we really need to do now is see if uh, we could catch uh, we'll first find and then hopefully catch uh, some good size uh, bait, you know, maybe mullets or uh, greenies and then go back up front there and uh, soak them for a little bit and see if we can catch something on them. So uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go on a little uh, adventure down the beach to see if we can find some bait and I'm also going to cast around the fly so, we, you know, we can see if we can catch a couple more on the fly uh, here on the ocean side. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep moving around. We might go have to go back inside to uh, get some bait if there's no bait out here, but uh, we shall see. Oh, big fish, wow. Big fish, crush the fly. Oh man. Oh, ho, 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 baby. Woo! Look at this fish rip. He's going into the backing. This is easily the biggest snook I've ever uh, gotten to eat the fly. 
Oh, please just stay hooked, baby. And I'm playing her really light so that she doesn't chafe through the 40 pound leader. Earlier we were using 30, but I switched to 40 because uh, I was afraid we'd end up in a situation just like this. Oh, she's not done, she's not done. Oh, I gotta tire this fish out quite a bit before uh, bringing her in close. Easily the biggest snook I've ever hooked on the fly. Oh, she's swimming at me now. I actually saw this fish cruising too. And then uh, I just made a perfect leading cast. I didn't want to say anything either because I, I was pretty sure this fish was not going to eat. Please stay hooked, baby. Please stay hooked. If I lose this fish, it's going to give me nightmares. Oh, man. No, baby, no, 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 no. She's trying to use the outgoing tide to really uh, pull hard and work to my disadvantage. size of this fish on the fly Woo! yeah that is what I'm talking about look at the size of that mouth oh man big fish on this little uh, um, Rainey's bush pig fly from Bass Pro so sweet and we had a perfect hook set right in the corner of the mouth I actually probably could have played her a little harder because uh, my leader is totally fine but wow, what a nice fish. I'm just gonna pop this fly out now. That fly was really in there, so we were not gonna lose this fish. And I'm gonna measure her from the start of my leader knot. All right to there. All right, let's get a nice healthy release on this big girl here. All right, so she's being real lethargic this one because it was a real long fight and this water is really warm. So I'm just uh, holding her mouth open and pulling her up current to give her lots of fresh oxygenated water flowing over her gills. Oh, she just bit me hard. I think she's getting ready. There she goes. I'm gonna touch her tail and push her out even more. She just swam out on her own, probably to some cooler water. All right, Whew. I am so pumped from that catch. And uh, we had to sit out there for like five minutes, ask deep in water 
until uh, I felt her really biting hard on my thumb and uh, gave her a push out and uh, she swam off. So uh, that was pretty cool and so totally worth it. And uh, that right there, hands down, is uh, the biggest snook I've ever caught on the fly. So uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm so happy I was able to catch it on film and share it with you guys. And uh, I just came you know, searching down the beach here to look for bait first off. And uh, we've been seeing some small snook. And uh, when I threw at that one, I didn't think it was one, gonna eat, and two, uh, I didn't really even think it was that big. Like it looked like a you know, 20, 25 incher. And uh, then when I saw its mouth open and eat the fly and it waked and it just like started ripping line, I was like, oh, this is a big fish. And uh, at first I thought it was only gonna be like maybe like 30, 31 inches, 32 inches, but I think that might be uh, an over slot, uh, like 35, 36. So I've got my little measured out uh, piece of leader. And when we get back to the kayak, uh, I, I have some measurements on the kayak so I can lay it out and, and maybe get a, a good measurement uh, there. If, if not, then I'll measure it when I get home. But uh, yeah, let's keep at it and uh, see uh, what else we can find. I'm still looking for bait. If we can find some bait, then uh, you know, I'm, I'm of course gonna you know try fishing with it. But uh, so sick to catch that one on the fly. Whew, my day is made. All right, well, since I cut up my leader, I've got to make a fresh one with this uh, Seaguar Inshore fluorocarbon and the leader knot that I was using was uh, just a simple Albright knot. All right, that'll do. Now just trim the tag ends. I'm gonna pull off like seven to eight feet a liter. And uh, I'm gonna tie back on this little Rainey's bush pig fly. And the knot that I'm using is just a standard loop knot or a rapala knot, rapala knot, you know, however you want to say it. And uh, by tying this knot, I feel like the uh, fly has the most action. And uh, yeah, it seems to work. All right, I guess we'll uh, try working up and down the ocean front uh, again here and see if uh, I could spot another one that we could toss at and hopefully it'll eat. Oh, we got a snook sitting right here. Doesn't look too big. There's a whole bunch of snook actually. Looks like there's like three or four maybe. Huh, they didn't eat though. Oh, look at that, they followed it in right to the, into the, like, the shallows. Oh yeah, I got a nice one cruising right on the edge of the lip. I'm gonna give him a nice leading cast. Come on, eat, baby, eat. Eat, eat, eat. Oh, he followed it, but he didn't eat it. Let's see if I can get him this time. I think I still see him out there cruising. Nope, couldn't get that one. It's funny that I can get the big one to eat. You know, I must have just got lucky. I, I don't know because I can't get any of the littler ones that are here to eat. Oh, there's a small one. <sighs> Go figure, right after I say that we get whacked. That one was ripping from left to right and uh, my fly actually like went over his head. I saw it and then he turned around and he came back around and uh, ate it right in the wash. All right, 
right, fun size snook right there. All right, well, I'm glad we got one more and uh, we fished our way back to the rocks, as you can see. And uh, I'm glad we got two, but uh, I probably saw like 60 fish down here along the uh, ocean front. And uh, most of them were extremely finicky and skittish. So um, I'll take the, the over slot and the little one that we got. And uh, now I'm gonna see if uh, the fish that were up front here, the rocks uh, are feeding again. So maybe we'll try the Yozuri. And uh, then I'm thinking we'll head back to uh, the kayak and uh, have a, a snack and something to drink. And then we'll also see if there's any bait up inside. All right, back at the kayak. And with some good news, I saw some mullet on the way back. So maybe we can catch some with the net. Oh, that's good. Whew, I was dehydrated. All right, now that uh, I had some fluids and don't feel like I'm gonna pass out anymore, let's uh, take our little leader here that I used to measure that big snook we caught on the fly with. And we got this tag end here that I measured to the tail. I'll put that on the zero here on the kayak. And then I'll pull this tag end past 35 baby heck yeah and uh it looks like maybe like two inches past 35 uh you know to be sure i'll just pinch it right there at 35 pull it back here where it's 28 to 30 and oh yeah it's a little over two inches there so i would say that fish was all of like 37 and a quarter 37 and one eighths inch uh which <laughs> Man, that is awesome. That is gonna be a tough one to beat on the fly rod. All right, let's grab the net now and uh, see if we can find some bait. All right, I got something decent in here. Oh, look at that. Nice uh, size Mahara. That'll be perfect snook bait right there. Oh, we got some good sized bait right here. Oh, look at that. What are these guys? These are, uh, I think, uh, like thorn bellies or something. I'm gonna dump them out. There, there are, you know, some nice uh, sand perch in the mix uh, and like little Maharas. So oh, here's a greenie. So I'm gonna pick out what'll work and throw back what I'm not going to use. Oh, check this out. We got a croaker. All right. Well, catching good bait was kind of a struggle, but uh, we got uh, two decent sized Maharas, one decent sized greenie and a croaker. So uh, I'm going to go to the end of the jetty and swim around. Hopefully we get to eight. All right, we made it. Let's uh, clip off this Yozuri. And uh, let's get out a circle hook. This'll do. If something eats this, it's going to be really big. All right, nothing on the croaker. So I'm just down to the three or two Maharas and one little Garini that's in here. And I switched up my rig and attached a smaller hook and an egg sinker. And I bet you this little guy won't last long out there. All right, nothing on the greenie. He just died on the hook. So we're down to our last two Maharas. And with all the weeds 
drifting by with the incoming tide, it's making it difficult to effectively fish. So I'm hoping that maybe we'll at least just get like one decent fish on one of these baits. Like look at all this weed. Making it near like impossible. All right, lost that Mahara too. So we are doing absolutely terrible. It's a beautiful little bait here. I like cooking Maharas in one nostril and out the other. And now I'm just gonna throw them back in the bucket. And I'm gonna walk along and hopefully spot a nice fish that we can get to eat it. Just spotted a monster snook. He just swam right by, right here. saw him swim like in that direction he was hanging out like right here oh just got a, a little snook to eat it right at the rocks dang Fishing with the bait was kind of a bust. But at least we got one fish out of the four baits that we had. And uh, after we finished up the bait, I threw around the Yozuri out on the end for a little bit and caught like four or five more uh, real tiny ones. Uh, I did see a couple bigger fish, but uh, you see all this weed that's around me. It's, it's all flooding in right now with the incoming current and uh, it's really hard to effectively fish because of all the weeds. So uh, I'm kind of ready to get out of here, but I'm gonna try one last thing and uh, throw on a swim bait and uh, go out to those rocks where we uh, got on our fly bite earlier. All right, I'm gonna try a little four inch uh, Fishaholic Finback Shad. Let's dump a little Dr. Juice on the swim bait. Oh yeah, this is gonna get slammed. All right, let's see if uh, anything is hanging out here. Oh my gosh. Well, first catch on the shad, on the first cast. Lots of weeds. Kind of not surprised. Let's see if we can do a little better on our second cast. Wow. Another one right there. They are stacked. Oh, he released himself. Good. There's another one.
Oh, quick release. Another one right there. It's crazy how many fish are here. That's a nice chunky fun size snook for the spinning rod. All right, Fishaholics. Well, I think that's about a wrap. Uh, I've had my fill of dink snook and I am ready to head on home. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know when I post another video. And until the next vid, live to fish, fish to live.